everybody, it's DJ V. This is quite possibly the biggest moment for me in my entire artistic journey. I'm really excited, I'm slightly terrified, but I'm ready to see where it takes me. I started DJ V Studios in 2017, and it has been just over five years now. As of December of 2022, I'm officially a full-time artist. I can't even believe I'm saying that out loud. October 31st, I put in my final notice at my part-time job and I worked the full month of November, giving them just a little bit of extra notice. And then officially December 1st, I'm a full-time artist. That's so crazy to me. None of this would have been possible without all of the support and love along the way. But I definitely have hustled and I've been non-stop for five years and I'm not gonna lie it's been exhausting <laughs> and I feel like part of that exhausting side of things is just because juggling two jobs at once is very physically and emotionally draining I'm never really able to focus on one given thing so I feel like my life has been very frantic the last little while and I mean this year has also been a really big year personally there's been a lot of personal life changes happening while also maintaining this while also working a part-time job and I think going through everything I've gone through this last year I just feel like it's time and I've put it off for so long and I've had so many excuses as to why couldn't do it or felt like I couldn't do it and I think right now is the time more than ever and I'm never really gonna be a hundred percent ready for it how could you be if you're also stringing yourself thin with a part-time job like I'm not gonna know if I can make it full-time unless I basically quit the job and see how much more I can accomplish in those three days I've been dedicating to a different area of work so now I'm gonna have my entire work week dedicated to art and hopefully in turn that will create more balance. I understand that being a full-time artist means that my art will now be my job, it will be my source of income and livelihood and that can put a lot of pressure on it, that can make it less enjoyable, less fun. But I know this and I've thought about this and I understand this and I'm already kind of in that place where my art is my passion and it's what I want to do and love to do but it's also my income so it kind of it lives this double life where some days I need it for therapy and other days I need it to make money and I don't really ever see it as a thing that makes me money I just see it as something that I want to do so badly and I wake up in the morning excited to do and I'm doing it anyways and if it's also profiting me and it's also able to sustain my life then I say why should I be agonizing over a part-time job where I'm not making tons of money anyways I'm not going to you know move up the ladder in the position that I'm in so I'm just evading the inevitable and I've been doing that for a while I'm in a place where I'm okay to try this and I kind of stumbled into models and I've kind of stumbled into the success and I've never put pressure on it I've never like forced it to work. I've just kind of done my thing and it just keeps proving itself to the point where I'm ready to say, okay, you've proved yourself enough. Now I'll believe it and I'm going to take it that next step forward. So, and I think that's the reason it's done so well is because I don't have that pressure on it and I don't have that pressure on myself. And I honestly, I'll be okay if it doesn't work out because it's never really been the end-all be-all goal of mine. That being said, I think it's going to work out really well for me and I do feel like it's going to be the right call for me and I'm sacrificing certain things to make it happen and I understand that but I think I need to sacrifice those things for my overall well-being and my mental health. In previous times I've been very scared and very worried. I'm nervous, I'm not sure how it will go but I'm at least excited and I and I'm ready and I want to put in the put in the work but also I'm excited to have the flexibility of being able to pick and choose my hours and what I want to do with my day and carve out time for the other things that I need for balance that I'm just not finding time for 
while working another job. This has been really exciting and I'm really excited to see where it goes and I'm hopeful that it goes really well and I think that it will. I think I doubt myself more than I'm capable of. And to do this you really have to believe in yourself and I've relied on a lot of other people the last little while to give me the push into it and that wasn't working. It wasn't like I believe you can do it so you'll do it. It has to come from myself and I'm finally there and I'm finally realizing that like I can do this. I want to do this and there's other people backing me to be able to do this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me and following me. And I can't wait to see what I create when I'm actually divulging all of my energy into one thing and not five things. <laughs> expect to see more of me, expect to see a lot of me, and I'm going to make this thing happen. Let's be a full-time artist. Full-time DJP. What, what?